So, welcome everybody. Thank you very much for joining in again at that uh, webinar. Um, today we talk about very wide angle lens. Today we have Kova with us and Kova, as you see over here on my desk, they have all different kinds of lenses and uh, today we show you the details about the wide angle ones because they have the widest actually which we found on the market and uh, I think uh, Daniel will actually show us uh, a lot more in the next few hours. Um, so thank you very much, Daniel, for joining our webinar. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on board. Thank you very much and hello to everybody. And uh, today I'll just give you an introduction about DreamTrip. Then, uh, of course, we're going to have a reseller today uh, as well. Uh, it's Danilo, uh, I will explain it later on. And then we talk about into detail about the Kova lenses. So first of all, DreamTrip, we're based in three uh, areas over here in the north of Germany. And then we have another site in the Netherlands and altogether we're 120 engineers. And uh, we have that beautiful webpage that you might know, it's atom-one.de where you can actually uh, have a look at the buy section and then you find uh, Danielo over here. And if you want to try out our cameras, please go to our reseller and have a meeting with them and check out our cameras and test them against other cameras. And of course, uh, take a Kova lens with you. And uh, Danielo, if you want to tell uh, us what's going on over here in this southern part of America, please give us an introduction about yourself and your company. Okay. I'm on mute. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. You're live. Okay. Uh, okay. My name is Danilo Pontorero. I'm the owner of uh, A Velocidad. We represent only five brands in, in South America and we have a, um, a lot of business here. Uh, I will show some, some uh, I will share my screen and you can see my, my PDF presentation. It's, uh, it's very short and very simple. Um, share my screen. Okay. Here is. Yes. Can you see it? Perfect. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. Sorry. This is A Velocidad. This is my logo. Um, I'm a cinematographer and TV worker for the last 23 years. I began so young. I'm 45 right now. Um, okay, I have a presence in Argentina, Chile, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Bolivia too. And uh, I'm looking for a new business or develop a new business integrated with a special broadcast technology for sport in, in South America. Okay, I have only five brands, DreamChip, Orbiter, Research, you know, it's a platform in the, in the field. View to control small cameras, Phantom high-speed cameras, and Polcam 2. I'm a crane operator for the last 20 years, different kind of cranes or different brands. Okay, I will show you some examples of success with the Chile Films and Media Pro in Chile. We sell um, six or eight cameras. Um, this is the image in before. Uh, in, in, to see inside the goal, you can see the cables and the camera and the support. And this is with our, our cameras. We installed the covalence five millimeters with the Atom One camera and two VNCs to, to process the image and uh, and a cable to connect the color matrix for the camera. The, the customer are using another brand, but they, they are looking for a more quality because Fox Sport tell they, okay, we need more quality and the best image inside the goal. That's why the customer bought these cameras. And you have another pictures. You see the cameras when the customer receive it. You can see, Daniel, all Kowa lenses. 
Yes, it's a perfect combination inside the goal because the field of view are very interesting about the quality and the angle in, inside the goal. Yes. You can see the, the, the final image in the right side. And the, we use a, a small magic arm to, to install the camera and the, to get the, uh, the best field of view. Any questions at here? No. So far not. You can go okay. further. Yeah. Okay, perfect. The other example is uh, Torneos. Torneos, he, have a, he has a base in Argentina, but uh, they work in all, uh, in, in, in all of countries in Latin America, especially in Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Argentina too. You have different image in the left side. This is the, the atom one with color lenses. And in the, in the back, in the, in the down, you can see the cover we create with 3D printer uh, cover for a pole cam and the camera inside the, the cover to use the camera underwater. It's a perfect combination. It's very simple and it's cheap. In the right side, you can see the Atom 1 4K 16 with a covalence tube. It's, it's only, I talked with uh, Christian about the, the image from yesterday and, uh, and I told him when the customer use, and it's on, we use uh, Atom 1 4K only for check because every day he has a, a Atom 1 HD. And when the customer saw the image from Atom 1 uh, 4K, he told me it's, it's very, very hard for my eyes because it's very nice uh, image. Um, okay, we travel every time with the crane, with Polcam and with the Atom 1, especially in Brazil, Chile, and Paraguay too. This is the, the final um, match this year in Maracana in February 2020. And we travel with the uh, Atom 1 and the Polcam to Brazil. And the other one is, uh, I don't like this picture, sorry, but I only have this one. This is a final Sudamericana in Paraguay in November 2019, in the last year. And this is a small video that I record and edit yesterday. Um, this is with Atom 1 4K 16. This is the famous stadio in, in Argentina we call Boca Juniors. You can see the camera inside the goal. It's a perfect example. We have a perfect flare with the Kawa lenses. Very nice. We work directly to the, we don't, we don't have any problem with the lenses in front of the light. You can see? It's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yes, and actually, nice. this shot uh, is really well known. Uh, a lot of viewers uh, around the world where you have the pole cam inside of the goal and then uh, inside of the net and then going backwards. In England, they do it a lot of times. And uh, it's funny that this shot is now very popular in every soccer Yes, season. it's very popular. For us, it's new. Okay, that's it. That's my video and my presentation. Um, here it is. Yeah, thank you very much, Daniel. That was really nice thank to you. see. Um, you. If you can maybe write your email in the chat, then people yes. can straight contact you and get a demo. And uh, it's every time nice to see some footage from around the world. So. Uh, thank you very much for sharing all this information. Okay, thank so, you for that. Um, if nice you have moment. some questions for Danielo, please uh, write him an email or write something in the chat and he will answer it straight away. So we're going to go further and um, I just going to share some slides just a little bit and then I'm going to go further with 
the hands-on. So here uh, was our web page. And uh, then if you, you're familiar uh, about our cameras, then we're doing IP streaming devices as well. That's our Barracuda. But today we're more focusing about these uh, cameras. So in total, we have uh, eight different models. Uh, very important, they all can do HLG and PQ in HDR and uh, all of them are having an HDSDI output. And uh, that's a quote from customers and uh, basically what they're saying, they could match our cameras uh, towards uh, big broadcast cameras. And one of course, very important thing is the multimetrics that we built inside in our cameras. But the other thing of course is a very good looking lens uh, to get no flare distortion Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So um, the workflow is actually quite simple. You can hook up our cameras uh, to uh, more than 15 RCP brands now, and uh, then uh, you have the same control, for example, on the Sony 1500, than on any other uh, Sony cameras, and uh, then you can play around with the cameras with our cameras, like you have a Sony one, and. Uh, or you can use uh, our cameras together with the free software we're providing and then you can run it uh, on a computer and work with the cameras. So um, talking about these quality, high quality lenses from Kova, I have next to me some very, very nice wide angle lenses that I'm gonna show you. But first, Daniel from Kova will introduce himself and will introduce this company and uh, Daniel, please give it a go. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, my name is Daniel van der Zand. I'm sales and marketing manager for Kova and are responsible for the European sales territory. Uh, nevertheless, if there are any people uh, from the US or, uh, or from Americas, uh, you can also, of course, still contact me and I will refer you to uh, the responsible person. So I will shortly introduce our company, Kova. Uh, most of you probably know it as a high quality lens manufacturer. But Kova does uh, actually uh, a lot of other things. I will just show it briefly. It is a Japanese company with a very long tradition already founded at the end of the 19th century, at that time as a trading company. And over the course of the 20th century, Kova uh, actually got into many, many different business areas. And now is a medium-sized company with 6,500 employee, employees and yeah, subsidiaries in many countries worldwide. The company is still family owned and run by the yeah, grand grandfather of the uh, grand grandson of the founder. So, yeah, here are some business areas in Japan. Kova is actually mostly known for medical um, medical products, which are medical devices or even medicine. Still, Kova is very active in trading, chemical trading, uh, trading uh, with machinery, and it also has some. Uh, yeah, some other services, even Kova owns a hotel or, and a department store. And one part of this, um, yeah, of this big company is optical devices and optical products. Kova started already with optical devices and products in the 1940s. And at that time, uh, they started with already lenses, uh, also uh, cameras, um, and also spotting scopes and binoculars. And so we in Europe, um, we are responsible for the sales of the sporting optics, which are uh, yeah, binoculars and sporting scopes used by bird watchers and hunters. And uh, the lenses, and these are, we are active in these areas for lenses. So uh, machine vision and broadcast, which are mostly fixed focal lengths lenses. Uh, these lenses are, yeah, I mean, the main 
application areas is of course machine vision, but uh, the broadcast world has discovered them as well for their high optical uh, quality. Then we are also active with lenses in the security and these CCTV lenses, they are mostly uh, motorized zooms. And for both areas, we offer OEM lenses, customized lenses, which are yeah, uh, lenses based on the requirements of the customer. So uh, in Europe, so in Germany, we have uh, our uh, sales office for Europe. Here we have a big warehouse. Uh, we have most lenses on stock. Uh, all lenses can be shipped within a few days and we can offer loan lenses. So if a customer is not sure if he wants to buy a lens, uh, yeah, he can just tell us and test the lens for a few days. Equally, we, of course, we have a subsidiary for lenses in uh, the United States. And then in, of course, Japan, uh, our headquarter and also uh, China and India. So, you Kova's unique selling proposition as a lens manufacturer. Yeah, we have a very broad product portfolio covering most application for uh, broadcast and machine vision. C mount can be covered from our catalog. We, we position ourselves in the higher quality segment of the market. We bring out quite innovative new developments on a regular basis. And on top of this, we offer customized solution as well as I just mentioned. So don't look at the uh, yeah, all these lenses. It's just to show you uh, as, um, as an overview for all the variety we have. We have a wide range for mostly C-mount lenses. So if you go, if you look at it in detail, you will see for all the image sizes for C-mount from half inch to four third inch, we have different series which is quite a wide range of uh, resolutions that you will also see when we talk about the lenses in detail later. And also we have a focal lengths which other manufacturers don't have. So longer or shorter focal lengths. So the lenses we will talk about later um, are a good example of this because this short focal lengths, wide angle lenses, uh, nobody else on the market has. Yeah, so we position ourselves in the higher quality segment of the market. All the lenses are designed and manufactured in Japan based on our long experience with optics. And if you would look at the lenses in detail, you will see they have some very superior optical features which show all the knowledge we have in optical design and in manufacturing lenses. And so what is also quite remarkable for us is we have uh, innovative new developments. So every time you come to our uh, booth at the trade fair, you will see a new lineup, new developments. The reason for is, uh, this is, our focus is on mostly on this sort of uh, industrial lenses. Uh, so we can also start new developments, even if the quantities are uh, quite low. So this is just an example of a, uh, anti-vibration ruggedized lens we have developed a few years ago. We will come talk about this specific lens later when introducing the different lenses for the uh, dream chip cameras. On top of this, we also offer uh, yeah, customized solutions. So this ranges from simple mechanical adaptation to a complete new design. For example, here on this sheet, you see uh, yeah, a lens where inside lens elements are good to make it more robust. Here, something you see, we could change the coating to, uh, yeah, to change the transmission of the lenses. This would be relevant for I, I, yeah, some inspection uh, applications, for example. So just to sum up, COVA advantages. Uh, innovative, we regularly have new innovative products, even uh, targeting uh, niche, niche market. Um, we are flexible and offer customizations. Yeah, for uh, Europe, we have this uh, support in warehouse in Germany for the other continents uh, at the other countries. Then our very broad product portfolio. So you can cover most uh, vision application uh, from our catalog. And the high 
manufacturing quality and the long uh, decades long knowledge in designing lenses. So that about Kova. If you have any questions, uh, I have written my contact details in the chat. You can just use it. You can uh, email me or call me for any questions. If you want to loan and test the lenses, please also contact me. Yeah, so I will uh, pass back to uh, Christian. Yeah, Daniel, thank you very much. So we actually now talk uh, into detail about Kova and now we actually see the images of them. If you stop sharing, that's it. Perfect. Then uh, actually now we're talking about the 4K Mini 16, which I have over here. So the 4K Mini 16 has a global shutter. It's, it has a huge dynamic range, mostly used on feature films and more and more in broadcast sports where uh, HDR is very important. And to give you uh, a little bit of a view how actually the camera is now hooked up to the 4.7 millimeter from Kova, I will show you the image. Um, so this is our camera over here. Then we have this motor drives you can uh, get from us. And over here we have two gears, one for focus and one for eyes. And over here you see the big lens which is covering a very, very wide angle. And uh, just to give you an imp impression about the image, I will show you it straight away. So this is the image of the camera. And over here you see that's the 4.7 and this is the six millimeter. So Kova has two very wide angle lenses and uh, we can actually control um, the lens with now I have the software running on a computer so I can shift the focus or you maybe know I can darken it up I can light it up and um, so this image is a 4.7 millimeter and what I'm really impressed of is the f-stop and the edges so all the lines if you see over here on the back you know, they're very straight. I mean, they're a little bit curved, but still straight. If you compare this, and we have on our Vimeo channel tons of equipment, uh, tons of lenses tested, please have a look and see the uh, we, we were shooting against this chart, and then in the edges, you really see the difference between all the lenses. And this, I mean, look at it. It's If I'm 50 centimeters in front of me, and you see such a wide angle lens, it's really amazing. And uh, yeah, please check our Atom One 4K Mini 16 together with a 4.7 millimeter. Uh, it is really, really, really amazing. I never saw that before. And as Daniel uh, sent us the first piece, I said, okay, we have to have it. There's no way out of it. And uh, so this is the one inch lens series uh, and uh, they of course have more they have the 4.7 and the six millimeter but maybe daniel please go yeah. ahead and explain more about the lenses yeah so this is our one inch uh, lens series you just showed the 4.7 millimeter of this is quite a popular lens series um it it can be used for some of uh, widely used sensors, Sony IMX174 or some sensors from CMOSES. Of course, uh, we have the, uh, all the range from the uh, short focal lengths up to 75 millimeters. I think for you and for the listeners here, uh, mostly important is the 4.7 millimeter and the 6 millimeters because uh, they are so wide and even being wide angles, they have such a low distortion. Uh, that's uh, what makes them popular. And the 4.7 is actually uh, one lens we uh, just brought out in the beginning of this year. And already I got a lot, a lot of interest from, uh, yeah, from our broadcast customers. For example, like using it in this application uh, of the camera behind the goal. Here you see it, it's this 4.7 millimeter lens starting from f2.4 with very low distortion. Uh, nobody else has this 4.7. It's unique in the market. 
and it was not uh, uh, that easy to design uh, our optical designer told me but in the end they did uh, i think a very very good job with this one yeah for for my perspective the lens is amazing i mean this is you have to check it out yourself uh, because it's really 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 amazing and it's heavy you know uh, it's not a light lens and uh, a lot of glass is in there and uh, if you compare it to the six millimeter which is also very wide you know so before we only had the six millimeter that was the widest one and then uh, this year the 4.7 arrived and i was so impressed about the image i mean look at it it's amazing you have this line is just straight all the other lenses are making that. It's, uh, yeah, please check it out yourself. And uh, though the next one is coming. So we're going to show uh, the next lens. And uh, this lens is actually for the 4K Mini 11. So our 4K Mini 11 is uh, a two third. And uh, I just have to power it up and uh, then show you the image. So this was the 4K Mini 16, and now we have the same size of the 4K Mini 16. It's just another sensor. It's a two-third, and a lot of customers actually use this camera with a B4 uh, adapter. So you have from C-mount to B4, and then you can have the huge broadcast lenses on it. But you can have this little lenses on it as well. And as you can see here, um, this is a very tiny one. It's uh, five millimeter, and the very impressive about this lens is it has a 1.8 f-stop. And to give you a picture about this camera, it looks like this. So as you see, we can get very close with that. I can even get, hold on, I have to get this lens away. I can get very, very, very close to the cars and to the bike. And then it gives you very nice flares here on the back. And if you're doing the focus to the back, you know, it, the lines are straight. Look at it up there. Check that out with other lenses. You will see the difference. Um, and that is coming from our 4K Mini 11. And I'm now, um, yeah, showed you the image of it. But we have, of course, more uh slides and maybe daniel can show a little bit more about l this lens series which is two-third which is the first two-third lens series that we talk about because we're going to show you more two-third lens series today yes so this is the uh, two-third inch lens also uh, danilo showed before in his uh, video so what is uh, quite remarkable about this five millimeter from this series is first this unique wide angle and also uh, the resolution. Um, the resolution is quite high. Uh, this of course can be uh, more seen in if it's used in a machine vision application or application uh, or uh, yeah, inspection application where you have to look at very, very small detail then this comes into play even more. And also, but this five millimeter lens has already been discovered by the uh, broadcast world uh, many years ago. Yeah, for this angle, for the high resolution, and also for the good color reproduction. So as I know, this lens has been used uh, to shoot uh, feature films, music videos, uh, for uh, yeah, using small point of view cameras. And of course, we have a, a whole series of this uh, with focal lengths uh, ranging from five millimeter to 50 millimeter. Perfect. And now we're talking about the Atom One. So you may be familiar with the Atom One. Uh, we started with this camera. It's a little bit bigger than two thirds. So it has a sensor size from one slash one, two, three. So um, it's a little bit bigger than two third and uh, has again like the 4k mini 16 very nice global shutter huge dynamic range and uh, yeah so the image of it i can show you now but first i will give you the same closer look like we did with the other one so now we're going to show you this one so this one is the atom one and as you see here that's the little lens we're going to show you now 
And that's an 8 millimeter with a uh, f2.8. And the image is looking like this. And as you see here, it's of course a little bit closer uh, towards the other ones, but still it's a very nice uh, image. And uh, Daniel will uh, now talk a little bit more about this lens series, which comes uh, in a smaller form factor. Yeah, so what makes this lens series special is uh, its small size. Uh, we designed it especially for application where uh, space uh, where there are space restrictions. Right now we have the focal lengths uh, eight to twenty five, but we are already working on shorter and longer focal lengths. It's not longer than uh, two point five centimeters. And if you go to the uh, next slide, um, here this would be a typical application with a smart camera or stereo camera where you have just very not so much space for uh, for the housing uh, and even if you uh, are in a broadcast application when you have to mount the camera at a place where there is not so much space this is uh, the right choice especially with this uh, small uh, dream chip camera together and then uh, it's a uh, very robust uh... yes so because this lens is small, not so much glass is used. So this makes it robust. And if you talk about machine vision, that would be robo robotics applications. And in your case, I guess application when the lens is mounted on uh, moving, uh, moving vehicles or, uh, or on helmets or wherever. Yeah, or mounted in a racing car and then you're driving over the white curve. So it's really uh, rugged and shaky and uh, yeah. So next one gonna be the SSM 500 and the SSM 500 is our new high speed slow motion camera. And uh, this has a global shutter runs in HD with 500 frames. Uh, has two modes, the SSM mode, the trigger mode. We done uh, a webinar in the past where we mounted it on the pole cam and uh, showed you every bits and pieces about this uh, SSM 500. Uh, again, as all our cameras, uh, it, it can do HLG and PQ in HDR and has a C-mount. And uh, just to show you, we have uh, this camera, of course, over here. And uh, I'm going to show you now the picture of it. So as you see over here, the, the lens is actually quite small regarding the big camera. Um, but let me show you first uh, a closer look of the lens we have now here. So this is the lens. Uh, it has close to the same size, a little bit bigger. Maybe you see that a little bit bigger than uh, the lenses we uh, showed you before. And uh, the image out of it, it's like that. And uh, if you're familiar with uh, f-stop, so this has a fixed f-stop at 2.8. I'm running this camera on uh, ISO uh, 400 and right now it's shooting 500 frames. So uh, this is SSM 500. You really have to check it out. It's really good in low light. So actually I could shoot now 500 frames uh, with this light conditioning in such a dark studio, which I have now over here usually you would have way more light uh, to cover uh, such a shooting over here. And uh, if you're not familiar with the SSM 500, please get a demo and try it out. This camera is really amazing. And uh, I just want to show you that slide again. We have um, the SSM with a C mount and uh, later this year, we're gonna have a B4 mount. And Daniel, what kind of lens do we have on the SSM 500? Please let me know. Yeah, what is special about this lens that is fully ruggedized and an anti-vibration and shock lens. Uh, we made a whole series uh, for this two third uh, inch format. And this is the most wide angle five millimeter. And if you go to the next slide, you will see how this lens is actually constructed in detail. So if you look here on the image on the left side, you will see instead of these locking screws, it, had this, it has this red ring. So you focus and tighten it by the red ring. 
Uh, you can take off the front part and put in an interchangeable iris plate. So the iris plate is changeable, but when, once it's inside, it's fixed. And most important, the inside lens elements here are glued together. So uh, for inspection application, this would be used in a robotics application or mounted on uh, vehicles. So for example, the case you uh, mentioned before, when a, a camera and a lens is mount, mounted in a Formula One racing car, uh, if it's on, mounted on any uh, vehicles, we even have these lenses uh, mounted on tanks. So you can say that it's robust, it uh, doesn't loosen, it will not change. Uh, the optical performance will not suffer due to vibration because of the elements, inside elements of this lens glued together. Perfect. And uh, now we're going to show you the last one. That's the Atom 1 Mini, which I have over here. And the Atom 1 Mini has a very small sensor. So because I have a small camera, so it's a uh, 1 slash 2.5. And that's the reason we have a M12 lens on that. Uh, that's that little one. And uh, we not only have the Atom 1 Mini, which is running with this camera, we actually have uh, the Atom 1 Mini Air, which is quite the same camera like the Atom 1 Mini, just you have on the back now two cables running out instead of having before two plugs. So if you really want to have a very tiny camera, then you have actually the half of the size of the camera, but just with wires out. And uh, then of course we have a waterproof version with this one. And uh, as you may familiar, all these little cameras as well have the Multimetrix built inside and you can run it with the Sony RCP or any other SignView or Skahoy RCP. And uh, then of course we have a bigger version, which is the 4K Mini 7, which is uh, the same sensor size then the little ones over here, so you can actually put uh, the next cover lens on this one as well. And as we are shipping out the Atom 1 Mini and the 4K Mini 7 with our own lens, it's an 8.9 degrees, so 89, sorry, 89 degrees angle. Um, now we're going to show you the lens from Kova, which is actually much wider. So if you need a wider lens, uh, I will show you the image uh, in a second. So just to give you an expression how big it is, uh, the camera is like my thumb and the lens is very tiny and small over here. And uh, the image of the camera uh, is looking like that. And again, like the lenses we saw before, the lines are straight. You see that? And as I said in the past, please go to our Vimeo page. Uh, I filmed this chart on the back and there you see really, it's really, really tough what Kova made there because to get these straight lines, uh, it's not an easy one. And uh, yeah, but uh, maybe uh, Daniel, if you can uh, please uh, tell us the last slide so there was the atom one mini waterproof and then we're talking about the 4k and that's it the wide angle three millimeter yeah so this is our wide angle uh, s mount lens we brought out this year uh, what is remarkable as you said it's a very low distortion and the uh, wide angle with a, a relatively uh, low f-stop starting from f 2.8 um, of course, we have an additional wide range of S-mount lenses, but they are, have a longer focal length. So I think for you and for your application, this uh, 3 millimeter lens is the uh, most, um, yeah, most applicable. Perfect. Um, so this is the range of Kova lenses. Oh, the wrong camera. This is the range of Kova lenses we showed you today. And... Uh, yeah, I'm very happy to see all these lenses performing well with our cameras. So we have a um, very sharp image, uh, very low distortion on the edges, good color matching. And uh, for me personally, it's a perfect fit if you're looking for very wide angle lenses. Uh, but Kova, as uh, Daniel mentioned, had closer ones as well. 
And uh, just to give you some uh, more information a little bit about uh, our lens motors, for example, we have that in stock. If you want to test them out, uh, please give it a go. It's running with the Cova lenses, all of them, uh, even with a 4.7, the widest one. And uh, then we were having um, uh, a talk with BM Remote and said, hey, it would be fantastic if you make a little pen tilt head. And they did it for us for the Atom 1 Mini in the first. And then I put on the Atom 1 in the 4K and it's working fantastic. Uh, you have to check that out. If you are looking for a very small pan tilt head uh, in a radio station or in a goal or somewhere, please check uh, BL remote or contact me. You will see this little remote head is stunning. Then we have a waterproof housing and this is made for the 4K Mini 7. Please give it a go and try out this, uh, sorry, this uh, Atom 1. Mini 7 together with a waterproof housing. And of course, we have a Vimeo page. And if you type in Vimeo and Dreamchip, you can see uh, the tests I uh, did uh, with all that different lenses, or you can see how you can hook up our camera to a Sony RCP or any Skahoy sign view, or how you connect the motor drive and et cetera, et cetera. And you can look actually to our last webinars we did in the past. And uh, if you're familiar with Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, please check out our sites over there. You see how people are putting our cameras in all different kind of places. And uh, yeah, if you want to get in touch with Danielo from Argentina, who just showed in the beginning some very nice uh, pictures uh, from the pole cam and our cameras, please contact him if you are in Argentina or Brazil or in the South of America. Uh, and if you're in somewhere around the world, just go to the buy section, find your reseller next to you and get a demo from them because all of our resellers actually have a demo camera for you with of course some Cobra lenses. So these are some references uh, and uh, we were selling our cameras uh, to them and they're very happy in coming back to us and we are working with them together. Uh, if you have some questions, please uh, do it now or write me an email or my colleague Stefan, we're gonna help you. And uh, yeah, if there are no questions in the Q&A, I would say Danielo and Daniel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, having the time enjoying uh, our webinar. And uh, for all of you, be safe and have a good afternoon and uh, see you in the next webinar in two weeks. Thank you and thank you everybody for listening. Thank you very much for inviting me. Have a nice day. Was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.